Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome to another series on the channel. We are going to play Cossacks 2 Battle for Europe. It's the uh, the last edition of the Cossacks 2 series and yeah, I played this game so much when I was younger. When I was 15, 16 years old, I played the crap out of this game. And that is now almost 15 years ago. This game uh, came out in 2006. So yeah, don't you worry about the resolution. Um, the menu is only in... Uh, uh, what is it? I think it's um, this one, I think. 1024 times 768 But when we are in the battles, we are going with uh, HD uh, resolution. And I hope that the game is stable, because uh, it took a long time to get this working. But I think we can start this, uh, this game. Um, so what I'm gonna do... Um, we are going to do some campaigns later in the game. Not a tutorial, but I will go over the campaigns that are in the game. But the most important thing that we are going to do is the battle for Europe. Um, I think we're going to play as Prussia. Because the Netherlands, where I live, is Prussia. So then I like to play the country I am in. And uh, you have to go and try to conquer Europe. But there are a couple of factions in this game. You have Spain, you have France, Great Britain, the Rhine, uh, the, the Rhine Federation. Um, this is all Austria. Including Italy, Poland, Russia, and we have um, Egypt. And they're going to battle it out on the map here. Um, I think before we are going to do this, I'm going to show you what this is all about. Uh, because this is of course a skirmish game. So we're going to do a normal skirmish battle. And let's pray that the resolution will update itself when I'm recording. Because otherwise things can go fairly wrong. So, I think we are just going to start as Prussia. Because we are going to play as Prussia in the uh, Battle for Europe campaign. And we will fight another random enemy. I will play on normal. So I can sh uh, show you guys how the game works. Now, there are a lot of maps in this game. Um, hmm. What should I pick? Endless War. Dangerous Neighbors. Burning the bridges. Oh, that is always fun. If three bridges, so we can hold that as our defensive line. Um, how to save? No, let's not do that. Now let's hope that the game works. Please work, game. <laughs> yeah, my whole resolution is now changing. Hey, that looks good. So yeah, the game is not made for this uh, high resolution. But um, yeah, there we go. So you just start with settlers, you have town halls, barracks you need to build for your units, dwellings for your uh, pop limit. Not in the list right now. You have staples and heavy stables, artillery, you can build towers and blockhouses. Blockhouses are very good in the game. You have a huge dwelling, a palace, um, and we get more gold from it. Market, temple, academy, blacksmith and storehouse. Now, all these buildings are pretty huge in this game, because they are um, Russian and Polish and Russian style buildings. So, let's start building the town hall and the barracks. Um, I think when I press F7, yeah, it zooms out. And maybe this is the, the thing we want to play on. So, let's uh, unpause the game. Uh, there's wood in the game, food, stone, gold, what is this called? Iron and coal. You need a lot of coal for your guns to shoot. But yeah, this takes place in the, uh, I think, the 18th century, late 18th century. Now, I like to build my barracks a bit further away. And two of you are gonna build the storehouse. Where is the storehouse in this game again? Here. But then we need the barracks, so let's first build the barracks. Um, how do you get your food? Well, you occupy settlements or villages on the map. That are all these things that you see here. And over time they bring food to you by a donkey or a horse. I don't know what it is. And these militias do fight for you. And if we want to take over other villages, we have to kill the militia. And that is very important that we are going to do this. So uh, the only thing we can build right now are musketeers. So let's start building those. Let's build a storehouse. Now, 
the units go out f uh, out of the barracks fairly quickly in this game. And that makes some very nice battles. I think we are going to go to the bridges and hold them as quickly as we can. Uh, you can also add more officers, drummers and uh, a, st a standard bearer. So that you can uh, increase the morale of the troops. But I will explain that later in the game. Right, some of you need to chop wood, some of you need to go on the stone. And then the next building I need, I think, will be a dwelling to get more troops. And for a stables we need 850 uh, wood, so we need a lot of wood to get it. And where is the market? For the market we need a stable, so we really want the stables. Now you can see that we don't have more production. Because um, we don't have enough... what is it? What do you need for this one? We need iron and food. Now the food is going down fairly quickly in this game. So you can also upgrade your food uh, mills. So we need a lot of wood for it. And you get 10 more workers on the, on the wheat here of the mill. And there comes our food. So they bring the food from this village to my town hall with this horse and we get a thousand food. So it's very important that we are going to take this uh, next mill because food is uh, always low star of the game and the music is also very very nice in this game if you ask me now let's also build the stables we can build some uh, horses I can also build the academy uh, but let's first get the market I think when you have 120,000 troops you can make a formation and you use those formations to play the game so we click here, we don't have any other uh, extra units, so we click here, they uh, group up in 120,000. And if you are in uh, column formation, your troops will follow the road, as you can see. And that will not lower their fatigue. If the fatigue goes to zero, then the morale bar goes down. And if your morale bar, bar is going to zero, you are very vulnerable. Now I will just uh, bring these troops to the mill here. We need to fight their militia of this village. See if we can find it. There they are. So we will go in line formation. We can shoot. This is the range. We do 100 uh, damage. 120 out of 120 is loaded. And we have 7, out of two, uh, 7 plus 2 melee damage. Now if you stand still for a while, you see this thing go up. And if this goes to 100%, you get in stand ground formation and you get a lot of bonuses so let's show this off to you right now we have seven plus two let's see if we can get the, that formation before they are gonna shoot yeah now we have seven plus nine so we will have also a, a, a defensive bonus now I'm not gonna shoot this because it's a waste of coal at the start of the game and we will be able to win this just with melee battle so that's what I'm gonna focus on now we also have our uh, cavalry, we can only build this cavalry, so you're gonna get that one. And these units are gonna go over there. Um, let's see, I think we also need to get another dwelling so we can build more troops. That is the Prussian dwelling. Uh, let's get that marketplace. And these go in formations of 45 units. So we are fighting their militia, we should win this. And then we conquer uh, the village. And you have some very nice uh, images here that they made. I love it. And there's the mill. We have the mill. We are going to stay here because this unit is also going to get replenished by this village over time. But that is really nice to have as well. Um, we have to build the academy, the Prussian academy is, let's build it over here. So that we can get extra... Uh, we can build other units, now we need the blacksmith for it. And for the blacksmith we need more stone. Well, we almost have it. Ah, they are now fully replenished, so let's go to... I guess this village. 
you guys are gonna go to this village. Yeah, the market is built. Um, I don't think I need to use the market right now. Let's build the blacksmith. We can build better units. Now in the academy, um, we cannot really do anything. We just get more uh, information. But we don't have really upgrades or, or something over here. Keep moving. Now the morale is very low on these units because I didn't put a uh, extra extra units in it. So the bridge starts over here, I think. No, we are over the bridge. Maybe we can hold this village over the bridge. That would be really nice. Now this village is having two militias. Watch out a bit over there. And now we can build these things. Let's capture the coal here. They are shooting me. I will not shoot. I will wait for the enemy to arrive. And I will stand like this over here. You guys are here. Maybe we should shoot these ones. So you walk through them. One of them is going to shoot. And they actually killed my whole unit. So I did not expect that at all. Oh my god, we are so weak. Oh, I almost lost more troops over here. That was uh, very bad, actually. And there's the enemy. We are fighting Russia, I think. No, the Rhine Confederation. Ooh. This is not good because we just shoot our army. And they are sending another troop. Oh. I am going to run away. Before they kill me. Um, yeah. Let's see. What can we do over here? What is a bo We need more gold as well. So we need more gold. And we need more dwellings. We also build a large dwelling. But normal dwellings are better, I think. So let's build that one. Okay, the enemy took this uh, village. That is annoying. I could push into the enemy lines with this uh, troop here, but let's just stay here for now and wait for reinforcements. So this one has more morale and a, a defensive bonus because it has these officers and other units. Now we can now build the black corpse. They are okay. I don't know how many troops I have here. Yeah, let's keep building the musketeers. Right, they are coming forwards. Line formation. Trees also give you cover, so let's go a bit into the trees. And let's wait for reinforcements. This is how the wars went in back in the days, right? Waiting for the enemy to shoot. <laughs> Think so. That one is also now ready. We have two troops that can fight these enemies. I think I'm gonna stop building these ones and get the black corps. They are a bit better. Now you have also combat engineers. They can build fortifications. And you have the chasseurs. They are very good at shooting, but I don't think you want to build those at the start of the game. Um, let's see. Let's get some artillery. I think it's time to go forward. Maybe we can flank them. We are not really getting more... Um, more troops ready and we need to capture those villages at some point otherwise we are gonna lag behind so yeah, we are a bit stuck here now you can see that they are getting fatigued so their morale bar goes down let's 
let's stop the armies. If they're gonna shoot, they're gonna kill this whole army. Artillery is built. Um, I can build two light cans, but we have no iron. So we should really upgrade our iron mine, I think. Oh, they are coming. Okay, we killed one of them. That's nice. But there is another troop over here. They have two more. So let's wait for the enemy to come towards me. Can I not build an officer? Nope. Well, we have our first cavalry unit now, so that's nice. Maybe I should go and capture more villages with this... Uh... Yeah, let's capture the villages around us. With the cavalry. We really need more iron. Let's uh, sell some of our wood. Oh my god, we don't get anything for it. But we need it. We need to keep building troops. Oh. Okay. Melee fight. The rest of them... They are pretty strong uh, cavalry. 165 power and 12 plus 2... Melee. Let's capture the villages around us. They should not move forward that quickly, I think. Also need more of these. Okay, we have the village. Let's see if we get uh, horses uh, replaced out of these villages. I don't remember if they do. Hmm. So it's two versus two. And their bloody militia is trying to fight us. More dwellings. It's get it's getting more expensive over time. Uh, we should not build this one. It's costing too much gold. We should build the large dwelling. Okay, we do not get cavalry replenishments, I think. Don't need to watch out a bit. Let's capture this uh, village. It's a bit more gold. Okay, we're going to bring those back home. Oh my god, they have their third army already. Let's get a bit more of those houses built. Because we are out of our population here. Now, are, am I going to get this gold? Thank you very much. Uh, let's bring those home so we can replenish them. Maybe we have a standard bearer. I can also build the mounted hussars now. Maybe I should build those. It's my next one. I could build a blockhouse. Thirty-nine. So we need. What can I build a couple only? I don't know which button that is. Let's just uh, get a couple more here. Now this is a stalemate, so I wonder how this will end. Uh, let's get a couple of these. My black corps are going to be better. Need to build four more of these horses and then I go and get some hussars. Oh, there they come. Okay. 
Let's shoot that one as well. Wait, you really did not break down? Holy shit. I think they broke down. We have our black corpse. Let's send those home. Um, how is this going? Okay, stop building this and do this. And you guys are going to take the other villages. We have another one here. They are trying to go through here. Well, I think we can kill them off. There we go, that is killed. Let's take that one. And let's shoot these ones down. You are gone. Let's take that village down. There is only one unit left here. Oh, let's watch out for it. You guys should go after this one. Maybe you can kill it. That is mine, but we lost all the horses again. Oh, I forgot about that unit. Oops. I'll try to move as close as I can to this guy. Because I can run faster on the road than him. Almost. Let's take the hill. Um, let's get this mill, I think. We still need a lot more iron. Units cannot do a lot. We'll just let them shoot, I think. You are also replenished. Um, go here. Too late against these ones. Let's kill them for morale. There we go. They need to rest a bit, otherwise if I move them down, they lose all the morale and then they are going to get killed, so... to the village my black corps are good at uh, fighting oh we should now really move forward because they are losing all their morale just need to get close and then I will shoot that should kill them yep yeah, they are dead you guys are gonna go here now. Really? Oh, oops. They had another troop over here, and now we can hold this bridge down. That is really nice. Yeah, they are also dead, so now we can hold this bridge here. need to reload so I hope they can reload in time you guys are going to this village and pick it have 27 mounted hussars now I can build the heavy stables we can build even also other kinds of uh, troops there you guys can come here you guys can go there
I guess you guys can reinforce over there. I will have enough up with three troops here. There we go. That should hold them back. Ah, I always forget that I need to do these things at the same time. Let's shoot. Now, let's hope I'm gonna win this. Yes, there we go. We have the we have the village. Let's go back here and reinforce with some other horses. Now we need more room, more living space. So let's build another house. Now they will not so easily go through here anymore. I think. Let's try to replenish this one. By putting it a bit closer to uh, the village. Uh, we can do an upgrade in the blacksmith so we can build grenadiers. They are having grenades as well that they can shoot, so that's nice. We are just in time over here apparently. Move forward. Yeah, we killed them. So they're gonna run back home again. We're gonna advance that from. They are coming here. Let's shoot them. They are dead. Some more black corpse. Um, mounted Dragoons. Yeah, let's get some Dragoons. And here... Let's get another normal house. Now, I will get some sappers from our barracks. Where is it? Combat Engineers, they are called. I think they are also called sappers. You guys are gonna go here. And we have two armies sitting here. Three armies here. We should get two here as well. Let's move to these uh, villages. Maybe we can capture them. Wait, where are you going? There's no road here. What? Uh, well, this game is not bug free, of course. <laughs> Really weird. <laughs> oh, that was so weird how they just walked over there. <laughs> yeah, there's our black corpse to take this coal and protect the bridge. Let's shoot two lines, that should be more than enough. No, not really. There we go, we have sappers, we can stop building those. And these ones can build uh, cronewerks, forts, fortresses and blockhouses. No, you should always build a blockhouse here. Because then the enemy cannot advance anymore. I forgot about this one. Let's kill it. are almost done for reloading yeah 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 kill them <laughs> the enemy is stuck they are not doing anything let's just shoot them down Let's take this mill. Hopefully we can protect it. Uh, we have the other horses, that's nice. Guess 
custom grenadiers and the other one. There we go. Let's get those horses over here. Did you still not kill them off? There we go, now they did. Let's replenish. You need to stop because you're getting hurt from your morale. Now they're gonna build uh, this house. And this house is gonna shoot everything into bits. Because this is how you play the game. You want to defend your positions with a blockhouse at the start of the game. They are way too strong. We can build the palace now. That gives us a gold income. So let's build it. Oh, they're gonna kill my sappers. Well, damn you. I refuse to walk in. I just stay here. Let's see if we can do something with these two horses. Let's cross the bridge. We are playing against the normal AI, so they are not having a lot of defenses. Another horse here ready. No. There's one going there, and there's one here. I will go towards this enemy. And kill them off, hopefully. Yes. I will tell my, uh, my horses to uh, kill what is left here, because that also gives bonuses. So you can also move here. The blockhouse is almost built. And you can see this blockhouse is now going to shoot all of them. Um, powder barrels. We can use this against uh, other enemy buildings. Now we can also build maybe a blockhouse over here. So I will put my sappers over there. This thing is going to kill all of this off. All these units. And here's the enemy base already, so I think we're gonna win. Yeah, the AI is so stupid that they just stay here and this blockhouse is gonna kill all of them. It's a lot of fun though. <laughs> are you all uh, loaded your gun? Almost. These are some really strong units. Mounted Dragoons. Info. Yeah, I don't know what the best units are in this game. Uh, let's go over here. We are now at their barracks, so if we can just kill all their new units... ...that come out, then they cannot make more troops. Kept the village already. The black corpse can come here as well. You guys are gonna kill all the new troops. Yeah. And these ones can now maybe take this now, maybe take the mill, and then we win the game. Give us but yeah, this is what we what I wanted to do. Block these bridges. Then only the artillery of the oh shit. Then only the artillery of the enemy can shoot down your blockhouses. This one is getting so much experience. But they are having more troops here, so I need to back off a little bit. And they are dead, stop shooting. So this is the Rhine Confederation buildings. They look pretty nice. They have two barracks? 
Really? Oh, they have two units over there. Really? Where? Oh, here. Yeah, this game is somewhat fast-paced, if you ask me. So, I built a blockhouse here, and then we can build one over there. Uh, you should not walk that way, by the way. <laughs> okay, they are coming, they have a lot of troops here. Kill this one off. There we go. And now we really need to kill everything that is here so they cannot make more. I think we can hold that. And that should also be the victory. So let's do this. Move these units. I guess over here. They have another barracks. Wow. How expensive is another barracks? 5,000 gold. Hm. Well, we can build a temple. This is the Prussian temple. It is really boring. Uh, do I have room for the building? There. Well, we just put our troops over here, and we kill whatever comes out of the barracks. And then they have, of course, no, no more chance to do anything. Ow! That hurts. So then I can move towards him, because I can still shoot. They should run away, and then shoot them in the back. There, let's move you up. They only have a couple of villages left, so they can't really do anything. A quick attack here. They cannot shoot, so we should use our cavalry. Kill them off. Kill this off. Put this over here. Go towards this army, shoot them off. And then they have no army left, I think. We win by capturing their um, uh, town hall, I think. Or capturing all the cities. But yeah, we won the game. Let's quickly capture all their villages. I think that's the easiest way to win the game. Oh, I captured it already. Nice. Then we can move here. We just need this mill and this one. And then you win. Or you kill all of their uh, things, of course. All their peasants and yeah we don't have to You guys are going to take this one. And then we have won the game.
Yeah, this is the skirmish mode, and then uh, we will do this, some sort of the same system, but then on a campaign map for the next episode, because we are going to do the battle for Europe. Shoot. And kill them off. Then we should win the game. If I remember correctly, it's 15 years ago, so... <laughs> yes, there we go. We won. And that was uh, that's going to be the first episode. In the next episode, we are going to start the Battle for Europe. Uh, we have to do this in this small screen. So maybe you need to uh, <laughs> make your screen a bit bigger. But um, we need to co conquer the map with... Um, Upgrading defenses, etc. on a campaign map. It's really f a lot of fun. And we start in 1799. That's going to happen in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.